Greetings from Delhi Medical Association and Emery News. Welcome to our show, Chat with Dr. K.K. We have with us Dr. Rana Patir, who is a Director of Neurosurgery, Fortis Memorial Research Institute at Goa. Uh, welcome to our show. Uh, Thank you. Uh, yeah. Let me come back with a very uh, take-home messages in the right. field of minimal invasive surgery as far as spine and brain are concerned. That's right. Uh, you like to take home messages well uh, it's it's something which is uh, a philosophy which i've been having for a very long time being minimalistic and uh, as with any minimalistic operations anywhere in the body the essential thing is that by being minimalistic we are uh, reducing the trauma to the body without losing the effectiveness and also the safety of the operation so conditions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 where minimal invasive surgery can be done in the brain and the spine. Minimal invasive surgery are especially applicable for diseases which are in the form of uh, fluid collections within compartments. So this may be tumors which have cysts within them. Uh, typically this is uh, applicable to a colloid cyst which is there in the third ventricle. However, there are some solid tumors which are there uh, in the fluid spaces like the ventricles which are also very amenable to uh, minimal invasive surgery uh, using very tiny passageways. What about spine? Similarly in the spine, spine uh, we have been doing uh, uh, minimal invasive uh, surgery for some time and uh, especially with the advent of uh, special image guidance techniques which we have right now available at a hospital using CT based, we are able to do a lot of very precise uh, implant, implantation procedures using screws uh, within the body. Okay. Let me come back away from your neurosurgery. Yeah. Uh, if you would not have been a doctor, what you would have become? Well, I'm right now a human engineer, so I would become a regular engineer. Regular engineer. <laughs> your comments about this gang rape, the brutal gang rape. I think all of us are totally Shattered. Yeah, totally shattered by this uh, horrible uh, crime and I just hope sincerely that things are being done as the government is... Uh, and, and do you feel that yeah. every police person should be taught first aid? Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely, no question of it. Yeah, I think because finally the first person who reaches the area, I mean the system is such that is the police people who reach there and so they have to be trained. So what Dr. Rana Patri says is very clear that now minimally invasive surgery is now possible in neurosurgery as well as in spine surgery. And let's thank him. Thanks to thank, thank you, you so to much. be in our show. Thank you so much. And that's all for today. We'll come back with one more show. Till that, goodbye. Thank you.